11 years in a row. I call I don't want to be the skier. Okay. No? No! See, out of the three of us, do. out of the three of us, who's doing ski joring and who's doing it well? Go. Are you skiing? <laughs> I'll, I'll be on the horse. I, I'm down. I'll give it a try. I feel like when you would be solid, but I feel like I could take you. I know that's terrible. Maybe right. it's Friday. Maybe the competition. it's I'll be the right Friday right? field. It's there on. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> wow, that just looks like fun, and we're going to have fresh snow if people do want to go ski joring as we roll through the weekend. Not the case down there in St. George where it's beautiful. So I know if you're dealing with the cloud cover in the north, goodness, just soak in the beauty of Washington County. St. George sitting at 50 degrees, the red rock popping, but you know what? They're going to get cold. I'll tell you when because this system coming through, the next one, really going to pack a punch. Live look at Hiram. We've seen fresh snow in Cache Valley in the last 12 hours. That's going to continue with snow falling right now in the northern portion of the state. You can see Cache Valley dealing with some light snow on the radar here. That extends into the Ogden Valley. What you're seeing in pink, that's mixed precipitation. As the radar sweeps, it gives you an idea that it's rain and snow. So as the snow comes down, it turns to rain because we've got temperatures above average on the valley floor. That's in and around Salt Lake County and over towards Tooele. But we know backside of the Wasatch dealing with snow. Heber up towards Morgan as well as Huntsville. And those are areas that are now under that winter weather advisory. It's been extended to include the Wasatch back. It holds until noon tomorrow, so the times have been adjusted on this as well. We're talking about accumulation, and it's really going to move through for the overnight and into tomorrow morning. So your Saturday is going to be soggy if you're in the northern half of the state. Different story down south, but then another storm on the way. Temperatures in the 30s and 40s. Salt Lake sitting at 40 degrees, and as a result of that, we get rain, but we've got colder air on the way. Eastern side of state, poor Vernal. The basin is just so socked in. They really have cold air trapped on the valley floor. They've seen an extended period of inversion. Freeze in Moab, 30s for the I-15 corridor right now into tonight. We're going to cool things off, get a little chilly, and then next week, oh, you have to see these numbers. Okay, this evening, scattered snow showers, they're out there, they're going to continue. That's going to be the case into the overnight, and you see how that kind of sags a little further south into the central portion of Utah. Don't rule out the I-70 corridor near Richfield. You guys could see some showers as well as over towards Castle Country and Nephi. Tomorrow will be similar to today, where we're unsettled for the northern half of the state. A few more clouds down there in southern Utah. But really, the action stays up north, but we do see snow showers. We get a bit of a break as we get later into the day, and then here comes Sunday. This storm, it's got a strong cold front. It is packing a punch, and it's going to bring more snow to northern Utah, but it looks like a statewide storm as that front will sweep further south and impact the southern portion of the state. Let's start, though, with snow totals for tomorrow. Because when all is said and done with these showers, we do have the potential for accumulation one to four inches for our Wasatch Valleys. That includes the Wasatch Front, Wasatch Back at four to eight, and our mountains, which you can see here as you look at the legend, Wasatch, Uintas, the Bear River Range, they're going to get the healthiest totals. Eight to 14, I think we could see mountains for the Wasatch Range. The southern end could be closer to half a foot, so six inches there. After we deal with the snow, we open the door for this very cold air. Arctic air comes flooding into the state, and Monday and Tuesday, we're going to be way below average, so we've got very chilly conditions on the way. We wanted to warn you, give you a heads up, just so you know, you're going to need the heavier snow coat because it is going to be chilly. Okay, 30s. We zoom in. Find your city. Notice we've got our mountain valleys in the 20s and mid-30s for tomorrow. That's pretty close to where we should be this time of year. A mix of 30s in central Utah. Southern Utah has a warming trend through Sunday, and then boom, Monday, they get hit with that system. Comes through, the timing of it opens the door for some mixed precipitation in Washington County. We actually see that storm first, and you notice those active skies hold on through Monday, and then, whoa, we dry out. And everyone says, I don't want any more snow, but I feel like you'd opt for snow when you have a high of 23. Over the cold. Yeah. I mean, oh. I would take snow. I mean, I'm not so much worried about drying out as I am warming up. I, it's going to take several days because yeah. that cold snap lasts. So, wow. yeah. Wow. All right. Chilly. Thank you, Alana. Yeah. Time now for a look at sports with Danny Green. And with the All Star game, it's only right that we have a local player on the roster, right?